Vanessa and I'm Brianna. And this is Brianna and we're gonna see if Dame Brianna's tall. <laughs> so please join us. Yes, we're gonna go to the computer and get yes. the And this happens to be about room 426. Yes, Thank you. It has. Okay, and well we're um shortly after the has to say Yampa in Open in 1927, a young newly married couple checked into the hotel balcony room. suite on the fourth floor. That same evening, the husband left his young wife, Faith, to go outside to, to take off, leaving his new bride alone. And the distraught three days of being alone took a toll on Faith, and she hung herself from the balcony in the clear side of Gurley Street. So this young woman hung herself because her husband left so for three days straight so yep so let's go down so, so that's basically why her husband didn't i don't know didn't. okay <laughs> okay let's faith go uh, says that faith has been wandering around she's been people have been seeing her floating down a hallway wearing a pink gown disappearing through doors and like various rooms and I guess that face has also started, um, like, startled people by appearing at the end of their beds, crying and holding flowers. Because remember, she remember this room bride. is 426. Yes. Okay. Okay. And I have read this part already. So it says that a couple were they were spending the night in the grand balcony suite 426 in room 426. Yes. And were waking at 3 a.m. when the radio and TV were turned on by themselves at 3 a.m. Yes. Full blast. The couple Full found blast. The couple found the lights. They were turned on and were fa and water faucets in the bathroom were running. Still haunted? Well, of course, guys. Come on. Still haunted. Room Faith 426. Grand Balcony Hotel. Faith has made herself at home in this grand place. And who can blame her? She is the infinity guest who still waits for her husband to return and mourns his sudden departure, departure while getting, getting some chuckles and attention from the living who accepts her as part of hotel of the hotel so, so far hotel. we have seen that we've read it and everything so it says that this girl Faith is living in the hotel and stuff, so actually, can, Vanessa, can we get that number? Now we're going to call the hotel to see if it's we're really true. We're going to call the hotel. So scary. We're, we're going to call, call this hotel and see if it's true. Um, so, um, yeah, we're getting out the phone right now. I would now. like to say that um, I, I was reading earlier, but it says that this girl Faith has actually been, like, well, I guess some woman was actually talking about saying that, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the library and look up some information about her, and I guess she doesn't really like, like, being talked about, about her death and stuff. So she spilled that woman's coffee on her, and hopefully she doesn't get to us when we call that person at the phone. So, shocked by the phone. Yes. So please enjoy. We are going to the living room to be safe. So this is a short pause. For five seconds. Okay, so we just called the hotel and they said that the story was true. So, Vanessa, do you believe in ghosts now? Actually, I do. Now, I, I still don't because I kind of forgot I got like these phone calls and the videos. So, I might say that you. But, I mean, I'm wondering, was that interesting? Because, I mean, we actually called some other. Hotels before. They say that all the stories that they have on the, their website is actually true. So, yeah. Hmm. And so, now we're actually wondering how this stuff is going to Whoa, what was that? Yeah. Did you guys just. Britt, was that you? Mom! Oh my gosh! You guys? What is that? The book actually fell. Oh my gosh. Well, I wonder what it could be. My heart's beating fast. Mom, I'm you scared. It. You're the one who said, oh, I don't care, Mom. Mom. I'm scared. And I don't care now. Can you say what you say? You called them in. I don't care, Mom. Well, the book fell. Like, I did that. And it's really heavy. How can it fall back? Mommy, but I asked the 
lady and I, she said that that um I read on the on the part that if you like call it that she'll disturb you. And so you think she's disturbing us? I don't know. I think she's after me because I called. I think she's I told after you. us. Well, Brianna. Well, like Brianna. Tell me. I had nothing to do with it. Me and Britt. Oh. And Audra. Well, mostly Audra. No, it's you Not two. So you two get to sleep over there in that room. Where, I don't Where did you guys call? I get to sleep with you? I'm scared. I get to sleep with you. Sure. I'm sitting in my room with Nessa. Oh. I'm sleeping up there. Yes, Nessa's I'm sleeping up there. Well, she says she will leave. She says, well, don't act all like that. I mean, don't act like that because you know you believe in them. I actually do. The story about faith, is that actually true? It depends on what you believe. I've never seen anything. Has like anybody like know seen anything? Well, I've had a couple of people who have checked out of their rooms and said that they've woken up in the middle of the night to find their hot and cold waters on the sink on for no apparent reason. People have their TVs will go on and off for no apparent reason. Mm -hmm. The elevator will buzz. Hi, I was, uh, I'm on your website right now, and I've been there. reading, and is it true that, like, people see her walking down the hall, like, in a pink gown and stuff? Well, that's what I've heard people have seen, but I haven't seen it myself, and I can't attest to what people have really seen, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ask if you get disturbed if you call. Shh. Okay, You're well, welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.